All right, cool. <clears throat> I thought I was gonna continue playing my music. I kind of wish I had to put that down. I know, maybe I. Wait, the last time I tried editing music into one of these videos that I made, it was talking over me. I don't think it was because it was like my first video, and it, um, I was talking quietly. Oh, it might just be louder. Certainly not gonna try it with a video like this. It's one's probably gonna be. Red Tail's death was like 23 minutes, and that's because of my probably like 15 plus ramble in the beginning. My probably like 8 minute review of the actual novella. And then the big three slash ramble I had at the end. Again, I'm still in New Orleans, so I'm still recording this in the fucking bathroom. But we have one that I recently deleted, which was my original take on Into the Wild, which actually had what we were doing in this series. So I plan on doing the introductory, the introductory book review thing. I put it on top of the playlist. Explaining how I'm going to be reviewing and such. And now, the rating of the books no longer apply. I might start doing it in stars. But I'm not, because I don't really have like, really powerful opinions. They're more centered. With, like, the books as a whole, characters or not. But, um... I, 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 my opinions are be different now, since I've literally have read 21... 20 other warrior books before this. And we're in the beginning of the brand of, of the prophecies begin arc. With like one novella swimming in between. And then I have to do my stream of talking about the arc as a whole, which I'm gonna address. Since in Dying of the Clans there were no um novellas or super editions breaking books up. I will not be including those as a whole part of the arc. I'll do a second one talking, but oh, well, I, I, I don't know. I'm just not gonna include them. For right now, I'm not gonna be um, including super editions or novellas when I review the arc. And it would just be the six main book arc, or the six books of the arc. But we have Into the Wild. Let me just talk about it. <laughs> you know, I have to do. If any of you watch the fucking Warrior videos and actually are an older Warriors fan, or maybe a, a, a newer Warriors fan, you should know the plot of Into the Wild, but still gotta talk about it because that's what I do. I mean, I really know these reviews of me talking about the whole plot of the book and explaining what it is, but I will chip in with my opinions. Of some characters. Now we get um, a flashback. We see this in Red Tail's death. Um, it's one of the battles of Sunny Rocks, of when Tiger Claw was fighting Oak Heart, and they retreated. And I originally said that this, I thought this is when Red Tail died, but that's not true. And this is the prologue. Then Spotty leaves talking to Blue Star and saying how. Fire, um, fire Island will save our clan. Obviously, talking about Fire Paw, Fireheart, and Fire Star. Or, I guess, Fire Star, who will save the four, technically five clans. I, I know, um, Sky Clan actually wasn't in the battle against the Dark Horse, but. Technically, by saying by saving the other four clans, he saved the fifth clan, and technically warrior clan. Warrior clan is technically a clan. I mean, they have a medicine cat, and they have they had the moonstone. But that's a talk for pretty straight about which we aren't gonna get to in 2021. I will be amazed if I end up getting through everything and I have to wait to do this series. But oof, the Stamina Warriors. 
on this channel. It, to begin with, it's just a series. I am my uh, Dragon Ball and my FNAF series. I not combined, but definitely individually bigger. And this, this one, it's not like a hundred shit in it, so, you know. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying. And this is what I'm doing on the phone now. Um, then we get to the other chapters of um, Firepaw having a dream as Rusty. And he's, you know, thinking about, or dreaming about catching a mouse. He doesn't catch it, wakes up eats food, goes outside of Smudge, which I will learn is actually one of my favorite characters, so I do have my full list of favorite characters, and my one honorable mention. So you know what? After Into the Wild, I will review my first five favorite characters. And we will be doing it by each two part. I will review five of them. By doing them in parts. And honestly, as I do that, I'm gonna write down my least favorite cats. <laughs> but, um, anyway. <laughs> he ends up fighting Grace, Grandpa, after going out. Um, Blue Star offers for Rescue to join Thunder Clan. He takes the offer after hanging out with Smudge and the and the rest of the cats. Um, he fights Dark Tail, I mean, Long Tail, and his <clears throat> collar is torn, do torn off. <coughs> Should I grab one for this? Shit. gives him the name Firepaw. We see him kind of introduce us. Since this is the first book made in Warriors, it's introducing us to a lot of the main things like the Warrior Code, um, Star Clan, the four other clans, what are leaders or star leader as I like to call them, deputies and such. Um, on his Warrior Assessment, he meets Yellow Fang, as we see in Yellow Fang's Secret, which after reading those books, I do have a lot more context in Into the Wild, and I will talk about Fireheart as a protagonist in this book and highlight him and such. Um, again, all my top five favorite characters, Fire Star. Gray, I, I just said gray, gray stripe, or I guess at this point, gray paw, and I think yellow fang. No, yellow fang's my top 10. But we get to see other, uh, such as other stuff. She ends up being captured as a prisoner. Fire paw breaks the warrior code by eating before he gets into his clan. He gets in trouble by having to take care of Yellow Fang. And I will say, Yellow Fang does start off as kind of a bitch, but she gets better. And uh, <clears throat> originally, I think I, I say this in my uh, sunrise, I mean, my uh, my sun trail video. I talk about how I didn't originally like Grey Stripe as. Oh fuck, Grey Wing! <laughs> as a protagonist because he wasn't Fireheart. I didn't read up to that part where he was Firestar, but I was like, damn, you know what? He's not like Fireheart at all. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna like this, this arc. And that is one thing I will say I have a problem with changing protagonists or feeling bad for when we don't see the protagonist or the protagonists are ruined. I can't wait to talk about Firestar's character pottery in the um, new book, but we'll talk about that later. When, Time is right for that. Um, but you know what? I grew to like Grey Wing, and Grey Wing is really my second favorite character. Um, I won't tell you who my first favorite character is because it definitely changed from being Firestar to being Grey Wing. It's, you know, I'll just say it right now, it's Half Moon. 
Half Moon is my favorite character. I wish we got more of her, or you know, got like a novella or something. And eventually, we get to see her when Jay Feather goes to Star Clan. Like I would like not a novella of Half Moon, but maybe like a super edition. And if I want to be greedy, a novella and another super edition. And if we're going to come back in the main series. <clears throat> if I want to be greedy, she's my favorite character after all. But what are you talking about them? Firepaw already says that the be this heroic character, and I kind of wish I actually watched my videos so I could actually revalue what I thought. But no, I like Fireheart. He's definitely one of my favorite characters. Nice, honorable, uh, standard, standard as hero. Then we have Grey Stripe, which I will talk about when we get into Platter and Ice and Force of Secrets. So I, I don't want to spoil my changing opinions on him, but I have very changing opinions of Grey, Grey Stripe. I liked Grey Stripe in Into the Wild. I do see him as this silly sidekick to Firepaw in Fireheart. He is meant to be a serious but the character, so I do enjoy that. Um, I also, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> I mean, it's what you guys came for, the ramblings of me just reviewing it. Um, but anyways, before I talk about Ravenpaw and how I love their little fucking pot trio, yeah, I really do like that, but when I first read it, it did, I, I really felt, really um excited whenever they would all three of them come on street i always thought them as friends and this was my head kin for the longest time i actually thought sparta leaf and um blue star were best friends and were super close when i first read into the wild fire and ice and forge the secrets Again, Spider Leaf, top 10 favorite characters. Love her. Love Blue Star. You guys already know my opinions of both characters. If you've seen my Spider Leaf's Heart video and my Blue Star's Promise video, where I do mention they are some of my favorite characters, I really do like Blue Star's personality in um, the um, the Rossi's Begin arc. Um, I am pissed at when she does the Five Star Clan, though, because I do feel like that does Roger. A butcher her character, but I, I but I understand where she comes from. I was just mad at the Aaron's for doing that shit to her. I'm not mad at Blue Star as a character. That's just frustrating. I'll talk about that when that happens. Um, obviously, after becoming part of the clan, um, he doesn't get his warrior name yet. He's still Firepaw. Um. He goes to a gathering, meets the other leaders, other than Tallstar, because when the clan has been basically eaten out of their own territory by Shadow Clan and Broken Star, but we do get to meet Shadow Clan and River Clan. We get to meet Crooked, Crooked Star and Broken Star. Um, Obviously, before that, Red Tails dies, and that's when we meet River Paw. Again, really like. Red Tail's character, if you read my um, Red Tail's death review, we don't know that I do like Red Tail as a character. Now, I'm gonna talk about Tiger Claw. When I first did these videos, I fucking hated Tiger Claw because he was a deceitful, Judas hearted bastard. And I still fucking think that about Tiger Claw. I don't hate him as much because I'm not reading these books for the first time. So my intriguing of, ooh, who, who's the betrayer? Who's the one who betrays Thunder Clan? Who's the... And you know, realizing it, I, I, I kind of had a guess that it was Tiger Claw. And then when I looked on the wiki with Tiger Star, I was like, fuck! Why is he a fucking leader? You know, that did that, didn't So, you know, some of my original raw anger is gone. I still... Fucking hate Tiger Claw. And when you fucking look at it, I'm gonna bitch until he's fucking Tiger. Until he's kicked out of Thunder Clan. And then I'll stop bitching. 
until we get to his fucking novella. But we'll talk about that when we get the faggot cause third fury, which is actually after I do my re-reviews of Fire and Ice and Force of Secrets. So we're already back on the track with novellas and super editions. At least it's the only one. It's actually not the only one because then we have a lot more. So obviously the Tiger Star and Sasha mangas. That arc. I'm gonna have to read that. And I might do my own like mini review of that arc because it is technically an arc. It is considered an arc, same thing with the Sky Clan and the Stranger arc. I will be reviewing those as separate arcs just because they are on the Warriors with the considered different arcs. And I'll talk about this more when I get to those books and when I review them as an arc when I do my live stream. So, stay tuned for those, cause this makes this series a lot fucking longer, especially since I'm doing a whole review of every single arc. <clears throat> but, as we see, um, Lionheart mentions, which Lionheart is the new de deputy of Thunderclan, mentions that the Shadow Clan apprentices are tiny and they are kids. Remember, because in Yellow Pink Secret, and we learn in Into the Wild that Broken Star is using kits. Basically, what Hitler did with the Hitler Youth and um, uses the kits as war tools, but instead of the clans actually knowing that they're hurting and killing kids, they just they don't fucking know. And that's made apparent that they don't know that. So they can keep with that. Um, they leave. Um, they head back to camp. Shadow, um, Firepaw, Ravenpaw, Graypaw, Blue Star, Tiger Claw go to the Moonstone. And Blue Star has a Vision, we don't actually get to ever see this vision, we just know it's of when Sh it Shadow Clan is going to attack Thunder Clan. So they go back, meet with Barley. Shout out to my boy Barley. I really like Barley as a character again. He didn't make my top 25. If I was to do a top 30 list, which I might, just to even the numbers out, he would definitely be on that spot. So you know what he is? I'm not going to be doing Honda Robot, so I'll do a top 30 list. And Barley will be included on it, not going to say where. But I definitely grew really to like Barley through the, like, the first three books. <sighs> no, I will talk about this endlessly when we get to... Oh shit, I almost forgot. The Raven part is the Raven Paw Path. Arc. I will be reviewing that in arc 2 after finishing the books, and that's when I will talk about mostly about Barley Paw or Raven Bar, whatever you wanna. I don't actually know what the official shipping name is, but it was everything for me. I don't see why on Raven Paws and Barley's wiki entries it says they are mates, they are not. But I will talk about that more when we get to Raven Paws. Farewell. And the Raven Paw Path book. In each and every single one of them. And when I do review the entire arc, that's why I'm talking about that. And how it's fucking stupid. It's the same thing with the tall Jake shit. I fucking hate it. I do not fucking enjoy that shit. It's fucking annoying. But that's. for later. And fuck my phone. Be back. I charged my phone and went down to 20. 
And oh shit, I just realized I don't have a charger. Fuck, wait, hold up. I was not expecting my phone to do that shit. I had it charged. Like, really, fuck, like, would it lead to 100? I, I don't understand how this went and have, how this happened. Let me just make sure it's charging. It's not charging. I think. You didn't make the vibrating noise. But, oh shit, this means I gotta hurry up. Fuck! Doesn't mean I have to get the power up. Gosh darn it. Um, obviously we get to see more of it. Um, Blue Star loses her 7th life, gets revived, they go back to camp, they fight. Um, they still are not made warriors. Um, I should really mention after the, after the gathering, they do all accuse, um, Yellow Fang of being a kid killer, and that just ain't true. As we see, Fire Fire Pie, is a Fire Fang, stick up for her, and Blue Star not executing her herself. Then, um, then Lionheart dies. Tiger Claw becomes. Deputy and Raven pause like, oh no, why, why did Blue Star make him deputy? No, this is why he killed Red Tail. And he's right. Again, I'm gonna mention this in Fire and Ice since I actually did read Red Tail's death. I will be talking about. Blue Star's upsuction to not believe. Firepaw. But she didn't even mention it during this book, so I'm not gonna mention it. Or at least talk about it. Cause I did just message it. Met 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 and met blah. I did just mention it. But, you know, they continue on. He does, we can see him do more clan duties. Obviously, from him spending that time with Yellow Thing, they go, they, they, they grow close. I love Firepaw slash Fireheart's relationship with Yellow Fang. He's really sweet and wholesome, and I really like it. Um, it is found out that. For one, um, Brindle Kit and <clears throat> what's uh, Cinder Kit, I got brain fart, Cinder Kit. Um, they've been stolen by Clawface, and we learn that Clawface kills Fireheart's or Firepaw's high school crush, Leafs. Spotted Leaf. Rose Tail also died in the battle before this happened. Um, Rose Tail died. R R I P. Ro Rose Tail. More than already signed for Rose Tail. Rose Tail died. Blackfoot killed her, and then Yellow Fang fucks him up, bitch. I don't know why I like Rose Tail so much. She is actually, <laughs> again, gonna be on that top 30 list <laughs> for no reason other than her name and the way she acts in Blue Star's Prophecy as a pop. But, uh, I didn't come here to talk and gush about Rose Tail. <coughs> Bitch.
Let me make some sound like a fucking idiot. Um, Blue Star tells Pop, Pop to go up looking for Yellow Fang because she escaped the camp, so that makes everybody think that Yellow Fang's on who killed Spotted Leaf and has stolen the kids and left in the Shadow Clan. Blue Star men James to Fire Paw if he if she was to send Tiger Claw, Tiger Claw would kill Yellow Fang because that's what the clan wants. That's what Tiger Claw wants. Because Tiger Claw's a fucking murderous fucking deceitful little Judas bastard. Really fucking hate. He's probably gonna make he's gonna make my number one. Least favorite fucking cats list. 100 percent And if you do that, I'll fucking I'll, I'll make a video on it and I'll fucking eat paper and a fucking hat. Um but I'll mainly eat that delicious paper and kitty litter. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um the um he meets up with grave paw and raven paw. He refuses to tell them when he stuck out of camp and overheard Tiger Tiger Claw plotting with Long tail and dark stripe about how Raven Paw was a traitor in lying and how he left when they were on their way to the Moonstone to tell Shadow Clan it to invade Thunder Clan. And obviously, Long Tail and Dark Stripe believe Tiger Claw because they're Tiger Claw, Claw, and fuck boys because they both fucking suck as characters. To the ends of the earth, I will speak this. Fuck, Tiger Claw. Aww. Make that a song now. Fuck Tiger Claw. Like, no, really. Fuck Tiger. Fuck it. I fucking hate Tiger. Mm, this, is, this is a really important video. I just why I fucking hate Tiger Claw. Why I hate Tiger Star. Why I fucking hate Tiger Star. My like, Tiger Star fucking sucks. Um, Yellow Fang gets the, um, power of the Shadow Clan elders. They invade the Shadow Clan camp. They end up fighting. Firepaw almost kills Clawface, but White Storm, again, another fucking character I love. <laughs> Saves him from committing murder. And breaking the warrior code. Um, Yellow Fang fucks up Broken Star, then he talks to Firepaw and says, What do you think you can kill me? I have nine lives, and you can't kill me before I go to Shadow Clan. I mean, you can't kill me and bring me the Star Clan. Like, what? You're gonna burn this. Black Star? No, uh, not Black Star. Um... Broken Star and his defector cats, his um, not, not defector, his follower cats get run out of Shadow Clan and they become rogues. And the Elder Shadow Clan members, Elders mention they will get a new leader and White Storm promises to lead them in peace for an entire month so they can get their clan back together. They report back to the Blue Star, Yellow Fang becomes a medicine cat. Um. <clears throat> Fire Paw becomes Fire Heart. Gray Paw becomes Gray Stripe. And they go for their silent vigil. And Fire Heart and Tiger Claw have a good old fashioned Western stand down. And that's it. That's the entire Into the Wild Art storyline. Oh, overall, first reading it, I thought it was an amazing story arc. What do I think of now that I read 20 other warrior books? This is the 21st one. I still think it's solid. I do think that um, in the Prophecies Begin arc as a whole, is um 
again, from, the, from what I've heard from people and what I've read, is a very strong part of the series, probably the strongest, even though I'm super excited for The Broken Code to read it and then share my thoughts. <laughs> so, I can't wait to be doing that. Overall, good story. I do like how Broken Star was picked out because it does set up, set up some other things to come. Like, obviously, Overshadow Clan goes to two different legions where Tiger Claw becomes Tiger Star and takes over Shadow Clan. But oh, 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 overall, I, I like the introducing of Fireball. I did find I did find it weird when reading, cause I'm so used to warriors by now. It's really fucking weird reading it. Um, obviously love Gray Paw slash Gray Stripe. I, I already talked about this. Its plot overall was good and definitely when I first was reading it it literally I forced myself to take breaks from reading it it was that because I was so so invested in the first three books because I never read anything like it before and I'm hoping it's like that for the like um <sighs> into the um obviously I hope it does jump back in with Fire and Ice, Force of Secrets, but, um, Tiger, Claw's Fury, um, The Rising Storm, obviously Dangerous Path, The Fire, The Darkest Hour. I do hope that it does those books, the books that I haven't read yet, and mind you, I've not read any of the books up to everything I've I read the entirety of the Dawn of the Clans, Moth Lights Vision, Fire Thunder Stars Echo, Shadow Stars Life, um, Cloud Stars Journey, Maple Shades of Vengeance, Pine Stars Choice, Goose Pledge's Curse, Tall Stars Revenge, Yellow Fang Secret, um, Crooked Stars Promise, Blue Stars Prophecy, Swan of Lee's Heart, The Rise of Scourge, Red Kills Death. Into the Wild, Fire and Ice, and Four Secrets are the only books I've read. I've not read past Four of Secrets, but I know shit that happens in the other arcs. But I've never truly have read the arcs for my opinion of characters and such. But I know a lot because I do research on the wiki and watch other warrior warrior YouTubers like Red Guardian Akira. I just got into Rose books. I watched the Warrior podcasts. I might pick up her own her own book that she wrote. Um, Quiet Rage books. Um, books with me. Tenniel flowers. How do you pronounce it? And I don't know good anymore. Good like Warrior. Oh, and Minky. Um, if you guys have any more like good like Warrior YouTubers that actually. Are still like active. I'm gonna put that down below and I might check them out. But overall, Into the Wild, solid. It's solid for a beginning of a series, too. Like, I really do like it. Um, Blue Star is definitely, as of right now, my second favorite leader. Um, it is really different from Dawn of the Clans, and this is something that I want to talk about real quick in this video, and I'm gonna make a whole separate video about it so I can talk about it more. Um, but the I wish there was um more super editions slash novellas in the Dawn of the Clans era, and a little bit before it to understand why the clans are fighting. Obviously, why the fuck are the clans fighting? Because in Dawn of the clans they left off they were fucking fine with one another and by what I mean talking the clans I mean the last chronological time you ever get to see them and they're even mentioned that would be
that would be now uh, I was gonna talk about Shadow Star's life to Cloud Star's journey and like why they're fighting. I remember I, I watched a video on this and I, I was talking about it and I was like, what the f like I actually like why are they fighting now? Like what caused them to f all hate one another and fight against one another? So I do wish that maybe that will be explored. It would fuck up my entire reading list and fucking piss me off. So I do, if not, they being these, like, I don't, I don't know. I wish, or maybe it was explained in one of the field guides, or they do a field guide. I would like that. But alas, I don't think that would happen. So I'll be discussing this in a later date. So, until then, enjoy and goodbye.